Yeah, then we tie. You're right. Mining guild or point Luna. No placement tile. And no, no placement prelude. And also no earth tech here. Sad. It's a placement. Nothing else though. It's also an earth tag. I can do supply drop eccentric sponsor with point Luna. Space elevator, we have millions of steel with supply drop. Sell that with space elevator. Grab five plants with imported hydrogen together with the supply drop we can convert. Wait, what else do we have? Okay, we take we take supplier supply drop. Not eccentric sponsor, I guess. Um, because we have Steelworks, Power Plant, Deep Mine, Heating. Other than that, so we can also take Robotic. This is a very interesting starting hand. Very interesting. I don't want to take anything else here. Double maybe. Maybe I want to preserve cash. This I'm left with 20 cash, right? 20 cash. And I will have 12 steel, 3 titanium. This costs me 7. I go down to 13 cash. 12 steel. 15 cash, 12 steel. I can easily play space elevator. Sell. Don't need to preserve that much steel. I can use, I, I think I can use like a lot of steel for space elevator. Because we will have steel pot for steelworks. I actually think this is really, really strong. Could keep SF to search for life, you mean? I don't know. It's just useful for the science tag, right? These three, I, I don't think I want to keep. Zeppelin's not worth it. Robo construction not worth it. Sabo, I think I'm too poor for that. Mm. On about the search for life. I don't think I want to keep it. But I don't think it's strictly false. Keeper. Another milestones again. That drives us nice for us. I don't know if we can get these down after space elevator. And I don't want to calculate that, that is really complicated. Um, let's not keep search for life, let's do it like this. It's a cheap science tag, you're right. But I think with Point Luna, you are not really that rich, so... Don't like to keep these speculative cards. Of course, this, this of course means I will draw, like, HT and AI Central next draft. And then you can say... I was completely wrong about that. You and I. Nice. Did we draw? Solar Wind. That's really good. That helps off with Energizer and Insanaya Science Tag. Really like that.
self-sufficient settlement. He will get the bonus ocean. Draw a card with that. Good for him. Oh. Thanks for the follow, Teta. I really exp exp appreciate it. Jesus Christ, I can't talk. Really appreciate it. Thanks for following. Um, let's do the granary. Plants. Sadly, this is gone. Twenty-five. No, uh, what are you talking about? This is twenty-four, thirty-seven. Urban city, not bad, not bad. Um, twenty-seven, twenty-four, thirty-seven. This is twenty-seven. So I have ten left, fifteen left. If I get steel. 15 left, this is 17. I can also grab plants, but I don't have plant prod, so I think grabbing steel is better. Um, or titanium. I can do... Uh, go down here. I can contest Polar Explorer. Yeah, let's contest Polar Explorer. Let's keep Titanium here. Can do maybe Greenery here. Migrant City here. Yeah. Let's Greenery here. I don't know if I really want to contest Polar Explorer, but it just gives me the, the option. Of course, placing the plant tile here means that my next Greenery, if I don't place another tile, needs to go down somewhere here, and this area is not good. But I don't have plant prod, and I have a tile on hand. So that's not the end of the world. If I don't want to go down here, then I can just place Immigrant City up here and start converting up here. So I think that's fine. Eight cards. This one's again. Versifier, we have three tags. Next we have. Space, Earth, Power. We got a building tag, science tag, city tag. This is just six. This is not great. Four energy pot now. This looks like a really sad Unimize start. Holy crap. This looks like a really sad Unimize start. Keep one more so that if we get raided, we can still sell. Yep. Like this. Ah, wait. And just immediately sell. I'm an idiot. Okay, now we have 18. So, uh, no. I just calculated something here. I need to sell one car. What did I miscalculate? Ah, oh, Jesus. Maybe he's setting up a bumper, or he's got, going for Energizer. Either way, it's bad for us. I miscalculated something here. I don't have enough for... Cheap well. I can do Power Plant Robotic. Not amazing. Wait, I can just... Ah, oh, no. Suppliers... Supplier doesn't have a building tag. Shit. These do these two, okay. Okay, perfect. No need to play too deep now. So eleven power plant, yeah. Again, there was a bug that I couldn't lower the amount of steel power. Uh, steel used. Okay, let's pass here. 
next turn. Nice. You know, I only kept three cards or something. Like the standard project asteroid bump. This is Energizer. We're passing this to. Yeah, I'm keeping this. This is just straight up Energizer, and I'm passing it to purple, so I cannot pass it. Let's hope he just. I don't know. Skilled. This is also Energizer. <sighs> I hate it. I hate it. Need needing to cut those. I would have liked to keep Gil. Yeah, it's like keeping Guild would have been so nice. Getting some card draw. Or like pets even, and point Luna. Yeah, at least there's no Energizer card here that I need to cut, but all the cards kind of suck. Moss is the best one here. Thanks for these amazing emotes. Interesting. Mm, which one do I want to keep? Science tech or the cheaper one? Cheaper one has minus production. Cheaper one also has a um, tech for tractor. Which Changsheng Mars might want to fund. No matter what, I'm keeping this because I have a lot of titanium, nothing to play with it. Um, okay, let's calculate this. Need to play Steelworks for 15, go down to 8. Do the action cell, go up to 13. Let's keep this. Go up to 13. Play this for five. Okay, yeah, I need to keep. If I keep this and this. Oh no. Go down to 17. Play this for 15. Not reaction. Either way, I, can't, I cannot play this and still get the milestone this gen. No matter what I'm keeping here. Um, in that case, I think I might keep this instead. Make a Gen 3 that's worth it, because this will have negative protection. Other steel targets. Yeah. Okay. Cannot get the mice on this gen, so I keep this. Expensive one. Okay. Let's hope he doesn't get energizer this gen. Then I'll get it ahead of him next gen. Only has 18 cash, 2 steel. But if he has like geothermal power on hand, then he has it. Let's also hope he doesn't have a door. Really annoying. Left center, that's not a bumper. 
And now he's out of money, right? Nearly. 11. Won't get the milestone. He could still play... Ah, uh, no. Could sell one, play water splitting plant. Right? Water splitting plant is 12. I think we get Energizer, and he doesn't have a bumper. That's my gut feeling here. Although water splitting plant, I would have, I would have played um, left center first as well. Five text already. What did I play? Have number six here on hand. But after that, no more. This is good production for you, Namai. And some card draw. But he won't get a bump this gen. Steelworks. I shouldn't have bumped. Uh, Unum I normally is one of the weaker corps, actually. Um, I don't think it's as weak as many people make it out to be, but you're really reliant on your starting hand. Like this corp can, same as Ecoline, this corp can really only do one thing. You can do that one thing pretty good, but if you don't get cards that support that one thing, then you're fucked with Unum I. It can basically only do terraforming strats. For everything else, its ability isn't useful at all, and it has low starting capital compared to other corps. So you basically, you have to play terraforming. And same with Equaline, you're only good with ground game, and if you don't get a good hand for ground game, Unima, uh, Equaline just sucks. And like, Changxing Mars is just a really, okay, he gets a bump, right? Yeah, he gets a bump, That's well played. Um, same with Junction Mars, this corp, uh, not same with Junction Mars, Junction Mars is just generally really strong, um, has good starting capital, um, useful ability, 3MC prod from the start, that's just nice. And Point Luna is one of the most busted corps in the game. Drawing one off of every earth tech is just insane. Card draw is really valuable. Okay, we get Energizer. Really good. After that, we can maybe try to get um, maybe try to get Polar Explorer, which is nice. Pass. No reason to play Black Range now. We can hold on on that. Maybe we draw Mars. You. We have four potential science tags. That's great. I guess we keep that. Also passing it up to Unimai, he's not getting that. He will also like the Ganymede Colony. He has a lot of Titanium Prod and already on Jovian Tag. But Demos down. Demos down. Never passing that, never passing research. Not never passing research. This card is just good, but he has Olympus Conference. And that would be a three card draw for him. And it's just also a really good card. Cycle files. It's one more new tag for diversifier. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, these two are pretty good corps, exactly.
Um, e3, we're left with 21. We play artificial claim. That's the gen for us. All right, works. Nothing to worry about it. Uh, we can also sell one seed and play Psycho Files. Yeah, okay. I like it. Yeah, it was the same with me. Like, this is a real life friend of mine. Um, he introduced me to Terrifying Mars. He has the. Uh, he plays a lot of board games in real life. And I, he showed me Terraform Mars. Uh, like the basic version, board game. Played together. And I also fell in love after the first game. And then I got it on Steam and just. I'm addicted to it. So yeah, really like the game. Okay, he has a few uh, Jovian tags, I guess. Let's get the milestone. Nice. Stop the cell. Bump the cell. Yeah, this is this is important to know, and it's really sad that it isn't advertised in the game. Like you need to know how to uh, where you pass, where you're passing, um, for you to make correct decisions. It's going, yeah, he's going down. Okay, he will be getting um, pole explorer. I won't be competing with that. I think he could just sp greenery between his cities and get it. Also, there's now no good spot for me. Not all of them. I mean. The four prelude corps. No, there are five prelude. Are there five? Yeah, there are five prelude corps. Um, thanks for the follow, Alakiash. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the stream. Um, not all of them. Basically, out of the five prelude corps, Point Luna has the most potential to be broken. Like, if you get a lot of Earth tags, it's just busted but as you see i just played one earth tag and the tag on it the corp itself so right now it's not busted at all i just drew two cards this guy already played six building tags this guy is like swimming in cash because of junction mass okay that's a bad example because that's also a pretty good corp um sacro files use Thanks for the sub, man. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so this has the potential to be really broken, Point Luna. Then Changxing Mars is always pretty solid, like starting with three cash brought and this discount on building tax is just really solid. And then Valley Trust is also pretty solid, but it's also kind of random because of the, like, the ability discount on science tax is. So, so, uh, you can be really lucky or really sad with the additional prelude. Vitor is really strong, and then Robinson Industries is not good at all. So the five, four out of the five corps in prelude expansion are really strong, that's true. Um, but in the other expansions, there are actually quite a lot of shit corps. Like Aphrodite from Venus is pretty bad. Um, Polyphemus from... Ooh! I really like that. Sad that we can't keep mining area. We could contest. We can test Polar Explorer with that, but Quantum Extractor is just too good. We need to get that. And even if I get mining area, I can do like Immigrant City here skip and then mining area here and get the milestone but playing immigrant city here just advertises so much that i will try to get um 
um, that I will try to get the milestone. And then this guy just places a tile here or here. I guess he doesn't have the cash for that. I guess he doesn't. But is it ever correct to pass quantum for a milestone? Like also, also I would be playing uh, Immigrant City in a shit spot. So I guess not. Yeah, let's just keep, let's just keep quantum. Yeah. Hey lady, don't just wait, don't just write no. You need to, you need to say me what you want, uh, what you want to see. Like, yeah, yeah, that's what I think. Like also, problem also is for me that I would be playing Immigrant City in a, in a really bad spot for that. So let's keep quantum. I don't know. <laughs> what was the fourth card here? What is happening? What? <laughs> yeah, what is that? <laughs> like, these cards, both of these cards are absolute S tier. What was the fourth? Jesus Christ. Ooh. Like, this guy will, will be like, what the hell? Um, okay. Cool. I like that. I enjoy that. I like that quite a lot. Now we need to think, can we get AI down this gen? But I doubt it. Nope. We're not cutting quantum to get AI down this gen. That's not who does here. So we got on to 22, play this for free. We are who we don't need to play this. Yeah, okay, we just play research. Or we play this for free and then this for nine. Okay, we play this for free, this for nine. 22 minus nine is 13. 13 plus six is 19 plus five is 24. We can even keep this. Let's look at it. Am I right with that? Go down to 19, grab two steel, sell one of that. 19 plus 5 is 24, plus 6 is 30, this plus AI is 30. Okay. We can we can actually we can actually grab three cards and still get AI down. That's just crazy. Okay. I like that. I mean, energy power supply consortium isn't really that uh, necessary here, but if we can keep it, why? Okay. Um. Let's play Lagrange. Wait, did I forget this card? Oh. Lagrange. Celestine. Don't quite understand. Yeah, just you play. Once everyone has um, decided, like if you play the real board game version, once everyone has decided what cop he wants to play, and you just lay them out in front of you, you just draw an additional card for free. Um, just blind from the deck. So you just always start with one more card with Point Luna. And then, like when the game is running, every time you play an earth tech, uh, you get to draw a card. Okay, there are the milestones, yeah. Let's do this. Let's play Robotic. What do I want to copy? Ah, it doesn't really matter. I want to play this less. Space Elevator, I guess. Titanium Prod can never hurt. Let's see. 
much better in here. That's insane drawing AI and quantum on John. So much card draw now. Okay, he, sh he showed me what he drew instead of AI. Um, he drew ta terraforming Ganymede. I don't know if I agree with him. Um, keeping terraforming Ganymede instead of AI. Like we know that he has Ganymede Colony on hand, so that's four tax, and then TG that's five. So TG is a seven point card. But AI is AI. Not sure. Okay. It's a bit sad now. Um, Martian Sorry is dead. But, well. What do you mean with that? Symbols? In corner of corporation card also counts to find accounting with proper special cards. Do you mean like if your corp has a um, Jovian tag, then that also counts towards like terraforming Ganymede and Ganymede colony in that case, or awards like, yeah. My space tag on Point Luna counts towards Space Baron, the award. So if you mean that, then yeah. Looks like that. Slip further from the window. Let's do this. And that's the gem. Now oh, it looks like Space Baron would be good for me, but. Later down the line, this guy will catch up with his Jovian strategy. It's really interesting to see UNMI playing Joves. Okay. I'll take that. Even more. Even more. Science tax and card draw. We need a little bit of economic help here. <laughs> like, we have a lot of card draw, but our economy doesn't look too great. Yeah, exactly. Works like that. If you. If you're playing Saturn systems, like the, the corp that um, gets one MC prod for every Jovian tech you play, um, and that one has a Jovian tech itself, the corp, and then you play Ganymede Colony, like one of these Jovian multipliers, um, then you got a point for your corp. Exactly. And that works like, works for every tech. Like if you're playing Changxing Mars, this corp, it has a building tag on it, and then you play MATLAB, that gives you uh, one money production for every two building tags, it works for that as well. So that's that's one, one of the reasons why like Mining Guild is really strong for Builder, because it starts with two building tags. Um, Transneptune Probe is just free here, so let's just keep this as well. Really hope that we draw um, more science payoffs. AGT would be like the most massive draw for us at the moment. And also, we need to draw some titanium cards, space cards, I mean. Because we have so much titanium.
I do have one place restricted area. On a card? Maybe on a card. Either, it's either card or steel. Either here or here, I guess. So research outpost for Changxing. Like, dude. <laughs> Milestones are gone. <laughs> Don't need to go down here. But okay. Yeah. I never I never read the the rules. I just went off of what my instructors told me and what I learned from like the online version. If you have the online version you can play you can play the tutorials to get used to the rules. Like, the good city spots, ob obviously this one is great because you get a free ocean, but like the region down here is kind of shit. Like the good, usually good city spots are next to oceans, not directly next to oceans. You want to place, you don't want to place your cities next to oceans. You want to place them one off of oceans so that you can place your greeneries next to the oceans and get rebates. And of course, good city spots need plants around them so that you can um, finance more greeneries. So good city spots are basically this one here, this one here, and maybe also here for some steel and ocean rebates. Like generally this area up here is pretty nice. I also have a YouTube video on the best city spots on each map. But I, I explain all the strengths and weaknesses of these different spots on the map. Is that titanium pro or super? I can't remember. I think it's titanium here. Uh, let's draw first. Always draw first. Not a bumper. That's useless. Um, so this. I want to do um, bump and sell in one go so that they don't get raided always try to avoid um like if you do something like this never do like steelworks now and then um the other players have a go and then sell because if you have two steel you're really susceptible to being raided with hired raiders and they can steal your two steel and then you can't use your space elevator for the gen I think I would have maybe done that, but now this guy has played Water Splitting Plant. Um, now I think Double Bumper is just not a good idea. Does he have cash? No, he doesn't. Okay. Let's wait and see what he does. Mm. Let's play Restricted first before we do this bumper stuff, because I want to see if it bumps. Let's draw a card. But double bumper is always... Oh, nice, Soleta. What a great draw. Double bumper is always fun. But never good. Yeah, he bumps. Okay, I get a free bonus step. Ah, oh, not completely free. He could steal it. But he needs to SP the greenery for that. Or maybe he has, like, mining expedition. If he doesn't have that, uh, he might not want to invest into a standard project greenery. That's pretty expensive. For Unum I at this point of the game. He's kind of rich though. 28 TR and 8 cash prod. Did it? Can't remember. Maybe it went around. Anyways, I'm still bumping this gen. 
not leaving it open. But first, strip mining. Lay it. Oh, that's not really what I thought. Um, skip again. Next up, we do these two. Do I want to play now? L2 play quantum. Can sell Martian service or letter. Both dead cards and play quantum. So let's uh, watch the survey. Play quantum. Nine power prop. Nice. Nice. If he has mining expedition, I'm kind of sad. But, well. Ooh, yeah. Let's cut this. You already have seven science texts. Give me AGT already. I need it. Okay, at least he's not getting all Jovian modes. He's already played Ganymede. I mean, he needs it down for TG anyways, but... Still weird that he played it already. There wasn't any... There wasn't any combo with it, like... Greenhouses or something. Nothing major here for us. I think I'm keeping zero here. I could keep protected haps. It's always nice to have, but I don't have any plant prod on hand. I don't have any animals. Don't have any microbes. I think I'm just skipping it. Um yeah, I think I'm just skipping it. Cutting it is fine, but I'm not huge about it. Skip it. How do you value attack cards like hackers in three player? Hackers in two player early game is insane, but I almost never play it in three player. Like attack cards are fine and all, like especially um stuff like Demos Down. Um because you can play it in the mid to late game, hit someone really hard, hit the plants, and you also get like a huge benefit of like three temperature steps. You can try to get the ocean with it. You get four steel. It's really nice. Um, and in the late game, you also know who's your main opponent, who is winning the game right now. And that's really, really good. Okay, he didn't grab this. That's really good. Really good. Um, but hackers, you have to play that in the early game because um, you want the prod from it and also you want to deduct the prod from your opponent. And in the early game, you don't know who's your main opponent in a three-player game, who's winning. Like, I couldn't have told you guys that 
you and I would have would have a great game here because the start sucked. Like he had two cards on hand. He played SP Asteroid into bump first gen, which is really, really weak. So I wouldn't never have hit him with hackers. I would have hit purple with it. But how it's looking right now, Unimai is my main opponent. So in that in that case, hackers isn't that great in three player, I think. I almost never play it. But other attack cards like Hired Raider, Sabo, you can play that in the mid to late game or in the early game, especially Hired Raiders in the early game is really nice. Or like all of these asteroids that destroy plants are really, really good in three player. Oh, next up we draw cards. I can play mine for free this turn, which is quite nice. Really recoup its cost easily. So it's going at least nine gens, I think. Underground city. Interesting. This guy really likes cities. He has no plant prod yet, but he has already he already has four cities. I think this guy a bit confused. Skills. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's just draw cards. Comet is all right. Draw another one. Um. I usually save it for late game. You know, this is nice. Especially with this guy on the map. I usually save it for late game because um, grabbing the bonus ocean is really good and Demos is the only card that gives you three bumps at once. Also, you might get some discounts on it. Like, I played Quantum Extractor, that's a discount on it. You don't have that in the early game. And also, oh Jesus, come on. And also, playing this in the early game for the full value of 31 or just three bumps isn't worth it. Like, this is really expensive for the economic development. You just want the points. You want the points and you want to hit someone with it. The early game, usually you can also not hit anyone with that because no one has plans in the early game. I think I might be playing Asteroid Mining this gen for just 9 Titanium in a cache. But I want to play Research first. I want to see if I can get more discounts and stuff. It's really sad I'm not playing on base game board. I could have picked up um, Scientist really early here. This guy should pick up Contractor pretty soon. Sadly, there's no award that I can pick up here. Hey, where's that stuff? For some reason doesn't... Ah, oh, don't... yeah, it works, okay. Got to keep that here. Work by any chance? Doesn't. All right. So last action sacrifice. Really annoying that this guy played ants. I said I didn't have microbes, but I had. Should have kept Protected Valley. It's a really useful card. Oh, I need to sneeze. Right. 
Let's draw cards. Sad. Just thinking, how can I not place more animals? But no one has planned prod, that's why. Okay. Sad life. Let's get let's just get the stone. Usually I wouldn't play that this late, especially with no um, Jovian multipliers. But I had so much titanium stored, and it will give me more titanium to play these other titanium cards. Also, it's a space tag for a potential space baron later down the line. The industry is. This um let's also play iron for free. Just clicking all the time. Yeah, that's true. Bumper city. Mm. I think I might also play Lightning Harvest. Just to get some cash brought out of that. Play that later down the line anyways for the point. And do I want to go to Lake Red Escarpment? I guess not. Put a green with it. Isn't, probably isn't worth it in Gen 6, right? Need three gens to recoup to neutral. You know what? Let's just play it. Hit green with it. He's in a really strong position. I need to get some prod here. Other than titanium. And that's it for this gem. Yeah. Hitting Chang wouldn't have been wouldn't have made any sense. Passing this up to Unimai, he will get one of these Jovian tags anyways. I cannot cut both of them, so let's just keep Viral Enhancers, which is a way better card. Mobile also isn't too bad. Like there's no heat prod here, but viral enhancers is just too good. Let's keep that. Really strong card. Yeah, really strong card. Nice. Oh, we have two animals already for it. One, two, three. It's got warms. I mean, this is shit. So, uh, I guess the bumpers that ah uh, no, I'd rather use the power for heat. Oxygen track is already maxed out then, so the plant rod isn't worth it anymore. I mean, it's still okay, but using the power for heat is better. And they also don't have a lot of steel. Like this guy, if I had that steel prod, I probably would have kept magnetic field generator. Oh, hole came back. Interesting. Um, I don't think I want more hole though. Um, don't have a lot of steel, and I have so much card draw. I would draw better than more hole. I don't know what this guy did. He played Building Industries last gen. Martian Industries, House Printing. He had a lot of stuff. Ah, shit. Didn't want to do that. But it's fine. It's fine. It was just a misclick. But it's still good. So this. Did you draw? 
Earth's nice. <laughs> this Byron Enhancer is already going bonkers. Earth's for small animals. Perfect. Okay, this guy paid, played Martian Industries, House Printing, Industrial Microbes. He played Underground City. That was the one that I was wondering about. Like, why? He has four cities now with no plant rod. And he didn't need that steel rod. Okay, there's his first greenery. Good for him. Eco zone. Okay. Still no plant prod from these guys. I need them to play some plant prod so that I can play these animals. At least four plant prod. <laughs> Two plant prod really soon. Because I want to play birds. Your group on him as well and opt jesus christ i expect some space events coming Obos. all right i can play that this gen it's a big point card i have tons of titanium uh you know what let's play this now seven titanium yeah. Some other city for greenhouses as well. Another space tech for Space Baron. Sadly, I don't have that many uh, space techs that count towards Space Baron anymore. This doesn't count, and these two are events, so they don't count an either. I just have this one. Eleven MC prod from medical lab. Jesus Christ! Fifteen building tags already. Fund that shit, dude. Fund it. I don't get why he wouldn't fund it. Well, going. Yeah, there's the first space event. Takes the heat. Yeah, that makes complete sense. It's a really good UNMI game for him now. Still works. So. Greenhouse is already worth six after playing Immigrant, it's worth seven. I could play Immigrant now here for one plant, skip once, then play Greenhouses, convert. Then I get another point out of the oxygen track. I can also do that next gen. Has he already done his? Yeah, he already did that. Yeah, I think I might wait until next gen for that. Try to get both bumps. No, that's unrealistic. Yeah, but I will get the second bump anyways. I don't need to do that play for that. Can rather wait for more cities to go down and for more steel to have. Yeah, okay. In that case, so I'll just do this. It's good. There's nothing, nothing else to do here. I think. Sadly, I have no award I can fund. I can, I could fund Space Baron. Just hope that I draw more tags. I mean, I have three card draw. 
That's probably the only award that I can realistically win here. That's this equal zone. Yeah, this guy will beat me in eccentric every day. Okay, I think I will just fun space burn because that's the only one I can realistically I realistically have a chance on that. That's nice for him. And it's still cheap for eight. That's fine. I might not win it, but I have a better chance on that than on any other war. Good. Okay. That's it for this gen, I think. He will maybe keep this for next gen so that he can. Oh, he won't? Okay. So he has a bump on hand, I guess. Pass. Who am I passing this to? Changsheng. Can I trust him to cut this? I hope so. I'm keeping this. There's no there's no way in hell I'm not keeping this, but Changsheng needs to cut this. If he doesn't, then we're dead. I hope he gets it. Oh my god. I hope he gets it. I hope he, I hope he cuts it. Please cut it. There was talk in the chat about the Spirovians. I, I, I have to believe he cut that. Yeah, it's got the option. But like large convoy and um, business network are really, really good draws for me. I can play business network this gen, draw a card off of it immediately because I'm point Luna, and then have even more card draw. And large convoy is just insane with one point animals. Uh, I want to keep farming, want to keep plague polar. That's basically it. These two cards, I think. Still no plant brought on these guys, which is annoying. So no target for my animals. Maybe one of them kept bushes. We're nearly there. Okay, I need to remember to bump if this is still available. Okay, he didn't bump. Maybe you can get both, but I don't think so. For pumping is nice for you, you know why? Especially, I oh know he doesn't have any steel pro. Okay, guess then it's not that great, right? Sort of steel. Guess he will do the bump now. If he doesn't, I'll try to get the last bump with Immigrant City plus Greenhouses. But I doubt he will let me do that.
and and buys the last award okay eccentric we will get second place eccentric i believe if these guys at some point decide to play some plant prod I mean, it's heavily de-incentivized to play plant pot in this game because oxygen is already maxed out. But there are really good plant pot cards in the late game. So maybe they will do it. Let's do Immigrant City. Secure this nice spot up here. Play light viral. Okay. If this guy doesn't do the last bump, then I can play greenhouses. But now he will probably do it. He did. He got both awards. That's what he wanted to do. I have some cheap building tax on hand, which is nice for contractor. Didn't get the last bump. Perfect. Ah, he didn't have power. Didn't quite catch that. So last gen he must have played our hungry card. Oh, interesting. He played that water splitting plant and used it only once or twice, I think. Don't know if that's really worth it. Oh, oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll use the third micro level. Yeah, up here. Defensive placement next to the ocean. It's quite nice. Really cool that we got the last two bumps. It's two more points. I think Bob is running away with this. A lot of TR. More card points than me, even. It's still not plant prod from these guys, right? Ah, there's one plant prod. Mm, do I want to place small animals on that? Do I want to wait for it? I think I might want to wait for one more plant prod for birds or for fish. If I don't get at least one of these one point animals down, then it really sucks for large Conway. Let's play. And let's just draw straight up first. This is really good. This is really, really good. Restrict that. Physics complex. Okay. <laughs> let's do that. I don't need to need. I don't need to use my power for heal if I just draw physics complex. That's actually quite nice. Guy doesn't have card draw, just one card on hand. Yeah, let's get business network down. Picked up Noctis farming, okay. Yeah, no, don't want that. Hmm. Anything else here? I think I could play Noctus, but I can also wait for more steel. Just one plant rod. Yeah. Just do sacrifice and pass. Ah, should maybe shouldn't have done sacrifice. This guy can wouldn't have been able to use ants on me. Well, it's all right. Let's pass these guys trees. Let's incentivize them playing some plants here. Um, and that means we pick up wave power. At least a point. <laughs> Let's 
on Sauce's card draw theoretically. But probably pick it up just for drawing one card. Yeah, we don't have any brought here. This game will go on for a while, I think. Seed is going to Gen 12. Nah, Gen 12 is maybe a stretch. Gen 11. That's that. So micro mills. I think this physics complex is actually really good. It will yield me like six points at least, I think. Maybe even eight. And slow the game down. Mm, do you want to pick up sponsors for our troll? I have quite a lot of dead cards on hand. But I'm also not that rich. Yeah, we have enough card draw. Let's pick that up. Hmm. Things. Okay. Action contest. Red color. So there's nothing pressing here. I think I just draw cards. ICS, really great. Martian Rail is not even that bad. Um, let's draw more cards. This is like the total opposite of the last game. Another one point animal. Okay, I need to find one plant prod to use this on. Then I can start putting animals down. Should have kept at least one plant prod card. No, we have card draw. We can maybe find one. Yeah, shouldn't have put that my uh, psycho file on there. That was stupid. Didn't have a land card that I could. Ah, I could have played Noctis Farming immediately to remove it. Really wasn't smart. Okay, put another card, Titanium Mine is not something I want. Okay, so no, no way to play Livestock here. Would play ICS to draw another card. Yeah, why not? I'm going to play that anyways. So let's play it now. Raiders, that's not that great, but better than nothing. Can steal some steel, then play Martian Rails. Russian Rails isn't worth it, All right? Five cities on Mars. Ooh. This isn't good. Yeah, this, this really isn't good. I 
everything that speeds up the game here is bad, basically. And that sped up the game by a lot. Celestial. Two points. You know, Martian race is super bad. Come on, play one plant prop, my friend. We all know you want it. Oh, not that. <laughs> not another city, bro. Why? <laughs> Why? Uh, he has five cities and one greenery. He's just S being asteroids now. Nice. Um, There's really nothing I want to do here right now. Jeez Louise. Guess I can hit green for money. And I don't know, just play wave power, whatever. Seven science tags. Nice. Thank the maker. Land brought. Oh, finally. Just one turn too late. Now we can get, can't get the ocean with large convoy, but still super worth it. Six points. Junction. Yep. Uh, large convoy. Thank you. Also, that's three card draw for us. And all of these cards suck. Perfect. All the oceans are placed, so this is that. Minus one point. This is that. Minus one point. This can be useful in the late game if it allows us to play like a three point card or something. But this is like indentured workers is not super dead, but at least a bit dead. Um, use birds. Yeah, getting closer. My friend, it's getting closer. What do I want to do? I don't want to play small animals. He just has one plant prod left. I want to use fish on that. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just good here. I can do... Now I can do Psychrophiles. Because next gen I can just open with Noctus Farming. At some point I'm need, I, I will need to play this and I will have three steel by then, so I'll be playing that then. I want steel will be soft though. Steel. But I guess last next gen will be the last gen anyways. Not doing the seed step, of course. Yeah, I can do that next gen, Islander. 
It ends anyway next turn, yeah. Uh, Do I want the space tech for Space Baron? Maybe I want the space tech for Space Baron. Like, kelp farming isn't that great anymore. This will be the last gen, I think. What offers? Do we have any earth techs left? Nuke zone only. Hmm. Mineral deposit. Do I have targets? Did contract contractor got bought, right? So I want to play as many building tags as possible. Uh, how much is he above me? Okay, I can't catch uh, Changxing, but I probably want a mineral deposit here. Passing this down to him, he has seven cards in hand. Earth Office could be... Could be nice. Yeah, let's keep this. Yeah, Nitrogen, of course. Okay, this is all that. Nitrogen, of course, is a nice card. Fish will be, a po will be two points with Viral. Um... Demos will be nice. And then we drop a few building tags as well. Secure that point. Keep these two, I think. Hmm. Maybe not keeping this. Uh, let's see, Unimi has how many cards? Only one card on hand though. Yeah, I'm keeping it. He has only one card on hand. What's the chance that that's space tag? I mean, he can get one in the raft here. But... Still. Let's do... Before he uses ants on me, let's use up my Psychrophiles. Psychrophiles and just let's sell once. Thanks, mate. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. I'll probably do it. Two cards only on hand. This guy's dead, I think. Place of Earth Office. Space Hotels. Okay, he maybe he wants to contest Space Baron, but he's so far behind. I need to be quick about this as well. I only have eight minutes left, so I'd rather enter this gen. Will hit me with that, of course. Yep, completely expected. That's Demos, him. Let's take the free bump, I guess. I mean, I didn't have to. It didn't convert. Did he already play a card? Yeah, he played one card. Okay, that's really good. 
just one card left. And one. That's not a tag. Two. If he doesn't have another space tag, then I'll hire him. Yeah. That's true. Okay, he misclicked. Maybe he hit the power instead of asteroid. Ooh, city. Yeah, shit. Wait, why he do, does he does that? Do that? Ah, Jesus Christ! All right. I guess I'll play deep well. I also played Nuke Zone, draw a card. That doesn't actually give me points, it just steals them from per green. But I guess that's the same thing at this point. Purple is behind so far. And drawing the card might be really good. I think I'll nuke zone. Nuke zone on the card. So I'll draw two. Hey, two totally worthless cards. <laughs> yeah. And let's draw cards. Advanced alloys. This will help us get more building tags out, but I don't think we need it. Second place is safe, first place is out of reach, so yeah, that's not a concern. Just need that. Didn't draw a single space tag here from all these cards. There goes Cup. Not really a concern. It's map land brought we can steal with our animals. Really nice. Let's draw more cards. Uh, wait. To draw pack demo, really good. Let's look at another card. Uh, don't have the money for that, just two points. We have so many cards, so little money. I think I might play this, it's another chance to get something really good. I'll play, I'll play fish and import nitrogen first. Don't have a lot of cash left, and like this is two points. Uh, maybe imported nitrogen isn't even that good. Three points though. Guess it's good. Okay, I 
think I'm in a good spot. He is 16 points ahead of me on TR. But I'm... No, not... Okay, I'm also a lot of points ahead of him here. Large Conway isn't counted in, and ICS also. I haven't played ICS, right? Have I? I don't remember. So steel. Even more steel. Not that this, not that the steel necessarily matters. Okay, now let's get fish down. It's another two points. Mm -hmm. This is three points. We don't have a plan tag that we can use that uh, these microbes on. He passed, so we can really tie him on Space Baron. So that's another three points. Well, let's sell everything we don't need. Keep all that. This is 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 that. Right. How many nine tags he has? Sixteen. That's that. This is that. This is that. We don't have plant pots or livestock, so also that. Ah, maybe we're drawn. This is not that. This is that. This is that. This is that. 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 Right. Yeah. That so 15 cards easy. Now let's play. This is also one more point. Let's play imported. Those on birds. Fact that we had all our plans destroyed. Okay, this is also that. Playing these two together is two, uh, three, four points. This gives one point, and then both of them together allow us to draw, so it's three points together. Uh, four points together. I need to play this. Could either sell all of them. Sell all five, I go to 14, can play both. That's four points, or do this, play these two, then I also have enough to play small animals, but doesn't really make a difference, only like one or two cash. So I'll just sell these five, play these two. Think. Yeah, that sounds good. Play tech? It's risky. What would I draw? here that's better than three point four points i think i don't want to risk it like play if i play tech and i don't get something good then i need to play this to play these two so just so not this so this 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 these two And I'll play these two. All right. Set. I think he has one, but I'm not sure.
Oh, I won. Oh. Okay. Nice. Pretty nice. That was fun. The last gen was crazy. I had some crazy draws in this game. Oh, I said GG. <laughs> All right.